Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Today we're going to be going over Dan's all new brick, oh, all new book, The Overlord Bricks book, uh, with 14 instructions. I got 16 instructions. 14 listed, 16 actual. 16 actual. There's some yes. submodels and stuff. So, so I, I should start out by saying this is not necessarily, my name's on the cover, but this is actually group effort from yes. the Brick Mania design team. So there are models by myself, by Cody, by Yitzi. Uh, and John, so we have four right. four designers taking part, plus all the, the the people that help with the stickers and you know Slam and Landon. Right. Um, so why Overlord Bricks? What made you decide to go take this book on? Well, this is this is our book dedicated to the events that happened on uh, D-Day, which is Operation Overlord in the Allied uh, operational parlance. Right. So yep, Operation Overlord, and that's basically everything here took part some way, shape, or form in. Uh, the D-Day landing, the invasion of France by the Allies, the liberation of France. Yeah. So. so we have a ton of awesome models from uh, dating back a little ways. What's the oldest one we have here? Making a comeback from the archives. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's hard to say. I don't remember. There's some old stuff. There's some recent stuff. Um, I don't know which is the oldest. Probably yeah. the Panzer IV over there is probably the oldest. Anything new for this book? Um, nothing really exclusive. The tiger here, this yeah. this tiger has never been released as a, as a instructions. Any tiger, this is the first time we've had a tiger, but we did this this exclusive tiger mm -hmm. uh, and this crazy, this is actual uh, camouflage, this brown and, and, and tan, yeah. like sort of tiger stripe. I'm super excited for camouflage. this. Camouflage, yeah, that's cool. And that's in the book. Um, this is Cody's uh, P51 Model B, the Razorback model, uh, with invasion stripes. There was a kit of the B model that was released, I think, last year, and Cody redid it, revised it, so we'd right. have the invasion version of it. And um, there's some other, you know, so we've made some changes to some yeah, of the Yeah, let's just, let's just start with it. Uh, let's start with the SDKFC. So SDKFC, that's this one here. Okay, yeah. That's the 251. That um, is, is basically your basic German half-track um, infantry carrier, troop carrier. Um, it is actually designed that it will tow the Pac-40. Yeah. So we do have a, a, a Pac-40 uh, ambush camouflage. This 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 is a set, oops, knock a piece of that. Uh -huh. I can't even see that set. Um, <laughs> Landon, Lando, I got uh, it, I got um, it. Um, but this was one of the most popular sets that we did. It was the, the SDKFC 251 uh, infantry troop carrier plus um, Pac-40 anti-tank gun. Mm -hmm. um, it's been out of production for about a year now and, and popularly requested. So right. we're leading off the book with this, this highly requested item. So this hooks onto this spot, right? It does, here. yeah. The, the, it's actually. Here, I can get this. This is a piece back. from the Pack 40. I'll show you how this works. Okay, let's. Uh, there we go. Attach that. Some in field repairs going on here. Well, it's Lego. I'll get this onto the trailer hitch. It's yep. a little difficult, but you can do it. There we go. Yes, yeah, so and then we can tow it. Yeah, and again, this ambush camouflage, hugely popular. Right, and all the German stuff pretty yeah. much is, is in this ambush, almost all of it. So to go with that, we have the... Uh, That's Panzer IV. Panzer, Panzer IV, IV also for J. So this is the latest, you know, the late war model uh, with all the side skirts, ambush camouflage, another highly requested um, set of instructions, and it's in the book, finally. Mm -hmm. I've been promising this one for a while. Um, so we can turn it around. You have the camouflage that goes all the way around. Uh, the side skirts can also be taken off if you mm -hmm. if you don't want to have it uh, displayed with the the, the shirts and the shirts and skirts yeah the skirts as I say <laughs> shirts and yeah very cool so yeah it's an awesome collection of this ambush camouflage right all three of these models look really nice together right so, cool um, let's do an aircraft here yep, huh? that's a Fock Wolf the famous Fock Wolf FW ninety. Uh, 190. I'm sorry. Um, this is Cody's model uh, yes. again, out of out of production for about a year now. Um, this this is another highly requested model. Mm -hmm. We don't have a kit version of this in, in production right now, so um, the, the only way you're going to get it is right here with the uh, in the instruction book. Of course, it has a nice camouflage. Uh, we recreated all the all the printed parts that were on the set in a, in a nice sticker set, a sticker sheet. Oh no, landing gear. There we yeah. go. And of course, the tiger you yep. were talking about. Tiger, yep, this is also E. Check out that camouflage scheme, both sides. Yep. Yeah, check out that camouflage. We got both sides camouflage. Nice and I should, should add that these are all common parts. You should have no problem finding these parts. Some of them might be a little more spendy than others because, of course, when we do instruction books. We do stuff that we mm -hmm. couldn't necessarily do in kits because you're making one, we're making 100 or 50 or whatever right. the batch happens to be. So we're able to get away with a little bit better, uh, a little bit more that we wouldn't normally be able to get away with. So. Yeah. 
And finally, on the German side, we have the staff car. The German staff car, another one. It does not come with the figures. We should point out that no parts, no figures come it's with just any the of these book. things. <laughs> um, what you will see, like say on this, the, the Tiger here, it has that custom muzzle brake. Yeah. You can build it with, just brick build it uh, mm -hmm. yourself. You don't need to use the custom Brick Mania parts or the Brick Arms parts, but it definitely will get add to it. And we do sell this, this muzzle brake separately, mm -hmm. so. Cool. Yeah, uh, of course, all these stickers that you're seeing on these kits, this, the sticker sheet does come with the book. It does. The sticker sheet's pretty yeah. extensive. I should just pull this out, give you a, a little quick uh, yeah, a glimpse our, at the... One of our, again, one of our biggest sticker sheets we've released. You will notice that there is no minifigures on this sticker sheet. Sure. So, um, the minifigures, we do sell minifigure sticker packs, so we figured it's at this point we have almost everybody, every sticker sheet, every uniform is, is in production, so there's no point including them in the book. Sure. Um, we'd have to take off some of the insignias of the airplanes in order to fit them, so yeah. we'd, we'd rather give you a complete set of yeah. insignias for all the vehicles, and then you can get your, your, your minifigs either buy custom minifigs from us or another another source, or the sticker sheets are uh, the, probably the most affordable option. Yes. Moving on to the U.S. and Allied side. Uh, yep. Nice you have your one hip. It's a nice little Jeep, a quarter ton uh, utility car, uh, or scout car, if you want to call it that. So, or known as the Jeep. Mm -hmm. So, yep. That's Cody's original design. We have the CMP FAT. This is the Canadian pattern uh, artillery tractor. We do include, it's not listed in the book, on the book cover, but we do include the limber and the 25 pounder that that would be towing. So this actually all together makes one big Yeah, when this, this initially debuted in the kit, I believe this is all together in one pack, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. We've offered the, the 25 pounder separately. Um, but they'd probably take it off the stand. Check this out. Were, uh, oh yeah, there's the steering in this one. Oh right, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this. You do have this. Ah, this. folds back up. Yeah. There we go. So. We're hitting oh. something. Something. The brakes are on. Oh no. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. CMP fat. Here, let's just disconnect it so we can park it while we introduce the other models. Very cool. I got it. You got it? All right. Next up, what do we got? That's the M10 Wolverine right there. Yeah. So we did modify it from its original kit form, putting this uh, this mm -hmm. custom uh, it's it's a brick arms. We call it the 76 millimeter gun barrel. So if you need to go to brickmania.com, you'll find it there under 76 millimeter barrel. This I just noticed. Uh -oh. That antenna should actually be right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's always like where does the antenna go? That's the first thing to pop off like whenever we're transporting. It. Right, and if, you should also keep in mind that a lot of these models are actually display models that have been in our stores, and they get moved around. Some of these have traveled many hundreds of miles, <laughs> maybe thousands of miles, so they do get banged up a little bit. So we're not intentionally trying to show you misleading, misleading right. or incorrect uh, <laughs> setups, but they do they do move around a bit. Cool. So. Um. We have next. Let's talk about this. We already did a little bit. This is this is Cody's P-51B. Again, in that invasion stripes camouflage, not camouflage, opposite of camouflage, right? Yeah, they, it's, it's basically so allied allied gunners won't shoot at other allied right. aircraft. So all of the allied aircraft had these these black yeah, and white invasion really stripes awesome painted on. Design on this one. So very iconic. Yep, and that's also those invasion stripes are on the bottom as well. And we, this is not available. The kit version did not have this this invasion stripes pattern. Right. Um, so this is just super sharp. We love it. Yeah, got a nice shot from here. Very cool. Very cool stuff. All right. Churchill. Yeah. Churchill, Churchill crocodile. This is Yitzi's country. So this there is this is a pretty. So the crocodile was a flame throwing version of the Churchill. Churchill is armed with mm -hmm. a six pounder gun on the main turret, but they also have this flame thrower here. That's this trailer. Actually, is filled with gelled gasoline. Yeah for the flamethrower, so it's... So this is the kit featured on the cover of this book as well. Right, this is, this is one of the most, and this, again, one of these highly requested, highly sought after Brickmania models. Yeah. Here we are, uh, it's available in the book. Very so, cool. yep, yeah, build your own. It comes with all those stickers, too. This, of course, is the X-Craft. This is a, what they would call a midget submarine, mm -hmm. what we would call in more modern times, a mini submarine. <laughs> so, X-Craft, um, it does, this is a cool, like, just really awesome display model. There's some cool play features that, yeah, I believe that you built into this. Side. Yeah, this, this, this is a, like, a lot of these kits were only done once. Here, I'll pull the side off here. Ah. And it's actually fully detailed interior. Yes. Um, this is, yeah, one of my favorite kits here. So, oh, what do we got inside? 
Well, there's some hidden stuff that people are throwing. Oh, some stands. Those <laughs> are the stands, yeah, because this came, oh, out, yeah, this came right. out of the store at the Mall of America. Yep. But you do have a stand. And I should also point out that these stands come right off, so you don't have to display it on the what stand. What else is in there? There's some other things in there. Well, there's, you've got, you got four, a, crewman, a crew of four. <laughs> there's a, the, the some hats. Man overboard the, in here. The hats where the guy is, uh, he yeah, he's just out. stuffed in there. <laughs> I think he fell over. But the engine compartment, all yep. that's in there, the little control room, everything. So the X-Craft, so you may know the X-Craft from when we, when we, first released this, we talked about the, the raid on the Tirpitz. They, fam they famously towed these things from England all the way to Norway, and they attacked the, the, the German battleship Tirpitz mm -hmm. at, in a harbor in uh, a fjord in, in Norway, um, managed to, to really damage the, the battleship. In fact, it was a really successful raid. Lost a couple of them on the way. Many, you know, some sailors died. But they also used the X-Craft to go reconnoiter Normandy Beach. Yep. So they, they, they got in as close to the shore as they could, some sailors swam out, uh, did uh, surveys of the beach, and then did all this under the cover of darkness using his X-Craft. So that's why it's related to this book. That's right. So very special, very special vehicle. So let's put that over here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Priest. M7 Priest. This is another Cody model. This is one of his earliest contributions to, to, mm -hmm. to Brick Mania. So M7 Priest, your 105 millimeter uh, Mobile artillery, so I'm allied. So that is in the book. And last but not least, last you have but the, not least, the WLA motorcycle. Yep. Make sure that's all situated right. Yep. So cool. you could build it with or without the sidecar. Mm -hmm. So it won't take a it won't take a genius to figure out how that conversion happens. Right. So it's this, and yeah, again, this is a this is a massive like layout of different kits here. Yeah, sixteen different sixteen different models. One so of the, yeah, some of the bigger model. I mean, the X craft. That's awesome that we have that. We should in there. point this out that this book, for one thing, it weighs a ton. Look how thick it is. Mm -hmm. It's like a th an inch thick. It's more than an inch thick. And um, I love how you can pick it up by the cover if you're. Yeah, it's like just about 300 pages, and we have a super durable cover. That was a, a earlier uh, generation of books. The, uh, we had some issues with the covers, not you know. Yeah, and, and if you still have wear them, out over time. Yeah, and, and we are slowly phasing in this new this new style, but it's a plastic cover. Yeah. It's crazy. So um, we do still sell some of the older books with the original covers. Uh, we will until they until they run out. So. Sure. But the newest books, Overlord Bricks, Great War Volume Two, and I think the um, I think those are the first two that we did. Yeah. So maybe two so far. But definitely taking you know as always moving forward yeah. one step of, of of quality as far as we can go. Always pushing. Right. Uh, anything else? I mean, this is kind of a collection of, of uh, a couple years of models here. For now, we're only putting out the spiral bond version. Sure. We will eventually have a paper paperback, a little slightly cheaper paperback version. Uh, the, by far the most popular are the spiral bound, and they take longer to do. So sure. we're getting those done ahead of time. Just it, we'll, we'll get to the, the paperback version if that's what you like to have that nice spine on your bookshelf. You'll get it probably before Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, we're big fans of the spiral, spiral bound just because you can like lay them down flat. Well, if you're building a model, yeah. wouldn't you want to do this? <laughs> like lay it flat and make sure it stays flat. Otherwise, you have to like weight down your your book. You yeah. know, spiral bound is, is probably the best if you're going to be doing some serious building. The the uh, yeah. other the other method, um, perfect bound. Wait, is it perfect bound? Perfect. That's, that's what it's called. Yeah. yeah it's like that's, a paper I mean, that's a bit better for like displaying on your shelf. But. Yeah, and if you try to force it flat, you will break the book. <laughs> you don't want to do We're that. We're a fan of the spiral. Bound. <laughs> yeah. So um, don't get a paperback book if you're going to break it. Right. Get the spiral bond. Pay the extra money. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Yeah. yeah for sure. um, anything else, Dan? No, this is it. This is one of the more exciting releases mm -hmm. that we've done. This obviously, the, you know, for us, it's exciting to do, but it's it's been highly anticipated, highly requested. Um, these are some of the most popular models we've ever done. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you know, keep in mind that if you're going to get one book this year, this is probably the one that's this for you. It. This is it. And they all do come with visual parts lists. So let me find, yeah. show you what I mean by visual parts list. Not only is it parts per step, but you have this cool little visual parts list in the beginning, and then at the back of the whole thing. This makes it really nice when you're uh, trying you to source parts. You have text so. parts list that that'll tell you these are the numbers that correspond with the either the Lego part number or. Uh, generally speaking, BrickLink. Yeah. I'm seeing if I can find a sticker page here and show you that we do show you how to put the stickers on where they go. Yep, right here. So here's a sticker. Here's an example of the sticker sticker guide. Yep. It tells you where all the stickers go, so you're not just getting a bunch of stickers and have to figure it out from the pictures. Mm -hmm. It does show you uh, where they all go, uh, and we sometimes will put those in line with the uh, the kits as well. 
So, yeah. yeah. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. yeah, and a full parts list at the back of the book as well with those bricklink numbers. Super yep. useful when you want to try and find a lot of parts uh, quickly. So. Yep, yep. It's all it's all in there. Awesome, awesome. Very cool release. That is Overlord Bricks, uh, designed by Dan Siskind and the team at Brickmania. The Brickmania design team, yes. Yeah, very cool. Uh, for more information, please check out brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.